today I'm going to show you how to make Batman decorations for a birthday cake out of gum paste. And I have a list of the things that you're going to need right there. And the Batman template is actually super easy. Um, just go online, print something out, whatever size you need, and cut it out and use that. You don't have to go buying anything or anything special like that. So anyway, it's easy. Um, I made three of the Batman symbols. One I'm going to have on some yellow background to make it look like the, the symbol in the sky. And the other two are going to say happy birthday. And we're also going to make some buildings to make a skyline along the bottom to make Gotham City. So after you carve out three of your Batman symbols, just set them aside. Roll out some yellow nice and thin. I just use a couple of wooden dowel, um, mixing sticks I got from Home Depot to measure it. So when I roll it out, it's all the same thickness. Place it on top of your yellow. I'm just straightening out the tips of the ears and everything to make sure it looks good before you press it down firmly, but not too firmly. You don't want to smush it. That would be bad. And then with the X-Acto knife again, carve around the Batman symbol, just a little bit outside of the black edges, um, just to kind of give it the circled look. You don't need to have a stencil for that if you're uncomfortable free freehanding the I don't know, the outline of it, just use your template that you had originally. I just don't bother, so do that. And then you touch it up, make it nice and smooth. And for the buildings, they're gonna be really easy. I use three sizes of small, medium, large, and you start with a square. Once you get your square, cut it in half with a nice sharp knife. I use one I find in my drawer that I just fell in love with. So you get two nice rectangles. And the plastic cutters that I use are kind of junky, so they leave rough edges. So all I'm doing is smoothing out the edges so they don't have any of that like fuzziness on the sides. That's really annoying. So the big ones I leave as rectangles. And the medium-sized squares I try to make look a little different since they're going to be a different building. You want your skyline to look different too. So I take another square and cut out a chunk right from the, between the two. And that kind of gives it a stepped look once you separate them. You'll see it once it's a little apart here. And for the small ones, I ended up making extras of each of these buildings. Pretty much the same idea. We have rectangles, we have the stepped buildings, and for this I'm going to make just a slanted roof. So on one side I cut off a triangle, take that triangle, flip it to the other side so I have pretty much the exact same size cut that side off and boom there you go you got your skyline coming together for you and don't forget to smooth it now to add the windows to the buildings all you do is roll out your yellow really thin you want it really thin cut long thin stripes and then cross cut it to make little rectangles you want them as close to the same size as possible and once you get your little rectangles using, I just use water to connect my gum paste pieces together and a paintbrush that um, came from like a, <laughs> a little watercolor kit for my kids. So it's real easy. Just take a little bit of water on the paintbrush, just get it wet, don't make it drippy, and secure down the windows. I tend to do it symmetrical for whatever shape building I'm doing so that they kind of mirror each other. And as you can see in the pictures, you don't need to fill in every single inch with windows. Buildings have lots of windows that are turned with the lights off, so leave it gappy. It makes it more interesting to look at. And you put them together, and there you go. You got your whole city skyline and your Batman-themed decorations. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.